another cooking gold making video for you. As many of you know, I do a lot of cooking flipping. And what does that mean? I'm sitting there crafting a metric crap ton of hearty meals, and I have like 400 cooking aptitude. And then I'm opening up those aptitude containers, getting a bunch of ingredients, and then I'm using those ingredients to make even better foods so that I can sell them for maximum profit. Now we're gonna talk about what you need to do to set this up the best way, and then what foods you should be crafting. No matter what, your first step in doing this is always going to be setting up buy orders. This is going to be the most time consuming piece of this. You never want to go on the market and buy things at actual market price. You want to set buy orders throughout the week, maybe over two weeks and get tens of thousands of foods. And I will say the most difficult thing to acquire right now is definitely seasonings. Seasonings are a tough one. They're far and few between because there's not that many people farming them other than bots. So it can be a little tough to get a ton of these. So take your time. But again, you don't want to be buying these straight from the market. Buy as cheap as possible. Your next step is you're going to need a full chef set. This isn't that expensive. Sure, some of the pieces might cost you a little bit, but in the long run, this is going to be worth it and what you are going to be able to use to really max out your total profit margins. Next, you need three major cooking trophies. Again, a little bit of an investment here. You don't necessarily need this stuff, but this is what's going to really make or break your process and making as much food as possible because of your bonus procs. Once you have all of your chef clothes and all of your major trophies in each of your three houses, you should be sitting around a 134% bonus proc chance when you're actually crafting foods. So as you pull your aptitude containers, you're going to get a lot of fish row. Now, a lot of people might just sell their fish row straight up. That is a mistake as long as you have trophies and clothes. Personally, I don't ever craft the brimstone foods that require fish sauce because I just find more profit doing this and it takes less time and I can do it directly with the flips because of the resources we get from aptitude containers. We don't get any of the brimstone meats or anything like that or any of those recipes even. So it's just easier to do it this way. But fish sauce is a huge money maker. Now, it does take two fish row to actually craft the fish sauce itself. So normally, if you look at any market price, these two fish row are going to be more expensive if you were to sell them than one fish sauce. And then you start to look at these and these are about 20 to 40 gold a piece. And it does get a little expensive. But you have to think you should have around a 130 plus percent chance to bonus proc. That means, for example, the last time I crafted my fish sauces, I had 50 fish row. So I could craft 25. But because of my bonus procs, I ended up getting 53. These then sold for 450 a piece, right? So now you see my logic here where this starts to make more sense. When you start to bonus proc, I can sell way more than 50 fish row equivalent of fish sauce, meaning I'm going to make more money. Next up, we have rabbit stew. Now rabbit stew, this is where you can start to dump your sumptuous rabbits. So you can see here are some of the other crafting materials and onions might get a little expensive at times. Rosemary and sage might also, but that's because this is a very cheap dex food when you start to look at the other options. It's either get a legendary fish or it's just a pain to get the other version. So it's just better for people running OPR or trying to do general content out in the world if they are using dex to use rabbit stew because it gives con and dex with a higher dex split. This will always sell for around 50 to 60 gold a piece. And again, with bonus procs, you're making more money. That's why if you calculated all of these selling, they would actually sell for more than one individual recipe, right? But then if you bonus proc at 130%, you're going to get far more than just one, meaning your overall value is far greater if you were to craft instead. Now, something else I'll mention too, just because this is one of our first foods we're talking about, is if you can get somebody to run a town buff for cooking, you can get even more bonus procs if you have that kind of control, but it's not often that that happens. Our next food is the roasted rabbit with seasoned vegetables. Now, the thing with this is, is it really depends on what resources you have. So like if you have more of these ingredients and you can get some of these cheaper, generally I can get the things for the rabbit stew a little bit cheaper, but it just depends on your market and your market prices. Like sometimes cauliflower gets a little expensive. But the thing with roasted rabbit with seasoned vegetables is that it is a guaranteed sell 100% of the time because people are constantly buying these for all sorts of content. Anybody can use it 
because it's con, but also people who are giving out war consumes. Generally, their consume giver is going to have at least 50 of these per war to hand out to everybody just in case they need a different type of food. Next, we have Fall Harvest Turkey. Now, this one's a little bit of an interesting one. It has a dex and strength split. Now, the reason why this is a solid seller and sells anywhere between 30 to 50 gold at times is because of pve so it gives that deck strength split it's a very cheap pure dps focused food where you could use it in a spear build you could use it for a hatchet you could use it anything that will scale strength and decks and find a ton of benefit so that's why poultry thighs are generally a little bit more expensive and again another reason why something like sage might be more expensive when it comes to seasonings but this is where you should dump your poultry thighs it's a great solid option you can craft a couple hundred of it by the time you're done because you'll get a pretty high amount of poultry thighs and it's just another profitable food option next we have carrot cake now the reason why i use carrot cake is yes it'll only sell for around 10 to 12 gold but the thing with carrot cake is it is very cheap to craft if you start to look at its recipe you will get a ton of cinnamon and nutmeg when you're doing this because all of your tier one containers that you get will have just seasonings in them and then all the other ones have additional chances to get seasonings and then carrot flour eggs butter sugar all that stuff is really cheap so in general all of this stuff together should be less than actually selling one but you'll be able to craft a ton the last time i did this i could craft 750 carrot cake now yes that only sells for 12 gold a piece so i'm making around 7,000 gold upwards of 7,000 gold but it's still free money on top of everything else so this is my go-to because as a strength user it's also a little bit weird when you're trying to get a little bit of strength into your build maybe you're playing a 200 con build and you've already got too much con this is just a great overall food because it can apply to a lot of different builds but it's also cheap to craft next up you're going to see a lot of bear flanks and i have two bear flank options generally i like to craft glazed bear with sauteed vegetables for my int food so that i can sell it now the thing with this is if you look at its ingredients they're not too crazy but this is one of your best rich bear flank dumps the thing about this is it will always sell higher than our second option 99 percent of the time and the reason being is that for a int user this is just a cheap version it's sort of like dex if you look at their higher tier foods you might need a legendary fish or again it's just kind of annoying to make the brimstone version and so why not just take the much cheaper equivalent where you only get 16 con with it 24 int and so it's just a solid option for all around content where people will buy this in the range of 30 to 40 gold at a time sometimes maybe a little bit cheaper depending on the economy but it's just another profitable option and then next up, this is one that I craft a ton as a healer. This is my main healer food. It's the same concept as what we just looked at. This will be cheaper, but if you start to look at its ingredients, these ingredients will be overall cheaper compared to other options. So if you want to maybe diversify your portfolio a little bit, maybe craft some glaze, some slow roasted, see how things are working, or just check the market prices. This can be a good option. Many healers like to run this for all purpose content. Again, we want more focus, but we don't want to just max out con all the time. So when I'm looking to do like pumper OPRs, I don't want to burn armadillo food. I would rather go with one of these. And it's just a good old purpose sort of open world cheaper alternative to what else a healer could use, meaning it's going to be a reliable sale lastly the last thing i want to mention so those are my main foods that i would sell for money now i have just a recipe from brimstone sands personally i never craft anything that requires fish sauce or any kind of brimstone meat why is that i mentioned this at the beginning you do not get any brimstone ingredients from your aptitude containers meaning i'd have to go out and farm these or buy these on a buy order now if you do want to get a system set up where you can buy these on buy orders good good for you do it and you can probably make some money especially with like armadillo food because healers want a pure focus split and that can be a really good option and then fish sauce you need to use to craft it well we'll get a decent amount of fish sauce from our aptitude containers but generally i just like to sell this to guarantee my profit um ultimately it's up to you whether or not you want to keep going i think for simplicity's sake it's sometimes better just to take whatever you get from your aptitude containers and snowball that instead and not even having to worry about other foods because as we dive into each brimstone food there's all kinds of different ingredients that we'd have to dive into 
in general, you'll have some ingredients that are left over, you'll have random seasonings, T5 foods, like maybe even tomatoes, whatever is left that you do not use, either use it to snowball into more aptitude fishing, so to craft more hearty meals, or simply just sell those extra materials that you don't plan to use at all for additional profit. Now, the one other bonus way to make money with these is when you're getting your aptitude containers and your tier three, you will get the chance to get patterns for cooking clothing. This is just another solid gold boost, another reason why you can do that. And at times, this can be a couple thousand extra gold if you do pants or the shirt. It depends on your economy again, but this is just another little stimmy to your wallet. So keep that in mind as well. That's all I have for you today. It's another gold making video, but I think this time I wanted to specify what I use it for and how you can truly guarantee profit. It is never best to just dump your ingredients, always try and turn them into something else. It's far better and it's going to be more gold in the long run. Thanks for watching, thanks for listening, and thank you to every single one of you beautiful people for being you. I hope you're doing well. Bye, 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 bye. I wouldn't be here if it weren't for all of you. Bye.